Hello and welcome to Possession Football. Uh, as we continue our UEFA Euro 2020 previews, now on to Group B's second team, Finland. Well, they failed to qualify for the 2018 FIFA World Cup, but they did win their Nations League group, getting promoted to Group D, and they qualified second in Group J. In the Nations League, they are second in Group... They came second in Group B4. Behind Wales, but ahead of the Republic of Ireland and Bulgaria, they started World Cup qualifying with two draws, and they have two friendlies away to Sweden and at home to Estonia uh, before the tournament starts. In that tournament, they will be in Group D with Denmark in Copenhagen before making the trip to St. Petersburg to play Russia and Belgium. So let's have a look at that qualifying group. You can see Italy were far and away the best team winning every game. Finland won six and lost four. Uh, two, those two games against Italy, as well as a game away to Greece when they had already qualified. Um, their one disappointing result, I think, will be that 4-1 away to Bosnia and Herzegovina. But uh, overall, they'll be happy who have qualified. Their manager is Marku Kaneva, who was a pretty successful player in Finland's top flight uh, for HJK Helsinki. He won five Finnish titles, three Finnish Cups and four Finnish League Cups. His first job was as HJK assistant. He took his first senior job as FC Viking it. He did well there and joined the Finland under-21 team. He got them to qualify for their first ever uh, European Under-21 Championship in 2009. He then became assistant manager of the senior team before coming full-time manager in 2016, where he got them promoted in their Nations League group and got them to their first uh, Euros ever. So there you can see his honours, five league titles, three cups, four league cups in Finland. The first ever qualification to an Under-21 Euro for Finland. Uh, winning their Nations League group and their first ever qualification to a Euros for their senior team. Now, Canerva has named a preliminary squad, uh, a 26-man squad, although uh, this doesn't include five players who have club duties, including Yukari Tala and Robin Lodd of Minnesota, who still have games in the MLS, Una Toivio of Harken, who are in the Swedish Cup final, Robert Taylor of Bran, who have some Norwegian League games to play, and Nicky Maimpa of Venezia, who are in the Serie B playoff final second leg. Uh, as well as that, Joel Poyampilo of Union Berlin, on loan from Leverkusen, Leo Weissenen of Elfsborg and Glenn Kamara of Rangers, later withdrew to uh, either recover from minor injuries or just get some rest at the end of the season before the tournament starts. Marcus Force of Brentford, also withdrew when his team qualified for the championship playoff final. None of these players who have withdrawn or not been selected yet excludes them from playing in the final squad. Uh, Canerva added two more players to his squad because of this. By the 1st of June, Canerva will have to choose from all three, all of these players, the ones I'll just named there, as well as the ones who are in the squad currently. He'll have to narrow it down to three goalkeepers and 23 outfield players. But let's have a look at the current squad, starting with the goalkeepers. Lucas Rodecci of Leverkusen is uh, their first choice goalkeeper. He missed the March international break with Achilles tendon issues, but now he's fit. I expect him to be right back in the starting 11. His deputy is Jesse Joranen, uh, who is Finland's number two, starting regularly in Italy's second tier in Brescia. He came in when Fredeci was unavailable in March. Ansi Jakala is Finland's number three. He's had injury issues this season, but he starts for Bristol Rovers when he's fit, and I think he'll be in the regular squad. Carl Johan Eriksson, I think, is their fifth choice goalie. Those three, as well as Mayim Parva, are ahead of them. Really, it's between Jakala and Mayim Parva for the final squad. Uh, I don't think it's that interesting who the final goalie is because Frenetti will start, but Eriksson has lost his place at Mialbi, so I doubt he'll make the final squad. We now move on to the defenders, starting with Yuhani Oyala. Uh, Oyala is a backup option at centre-back. Uh, he will still make the final squad, but uh, I doubt he'll get too much time. Sauli Weissenen. Uh, has not got regular time in Serie B this season. He's another centre-back. I'm not sure he's going to make the final squad, to be honest. Paulus Adayuri is the captain of Paphos, and he will be uh, a starting centre-back for Finland this summer, I expect. Daniel O'Shaughnessy uh, 
of HJK will expect game time at the Euros. He does kind of get rotated in and out of the squad. I'm not sure he's going to be a regular starter this time around. Uh, mainly starting games from the bench and coming on if they need an extra defender. Robert Ivanov, uh, a very tall centre-back, nearly two metres um, but he's on the fringes of the squad. I'm not sure. I, in fact, I don't think he's going to make the final 26. Albin Granlund, uh, he's a right back or a right wing back, right midfielder, whatever you want to call it, because his team plays a back five. This season, uh, I think he's going to be a backup on the right of the defence. Yeri Urdanen, uh he missed the last international break with coronavirus. He's uh, a left back also playing at left wing back or left midfield, whatever you want to call it, this season. He has lost his spot in the Genk team at the end of the season, but I do think he will uh, be favourite to start on the left of Finland's defence. Nicholas Hamalainen from QPR is in a close competition with Urinen. I think Urinen is favourite to start at left back. Nikolai Alho, um, he's done well at MTK Budapest, has forced his way into the team. I think he will be uh, the first choice right back for his country. Arpo Halmer has earned his first call up for the national team, but I don't think he will uh, start for him, or he or even make the squad uh, for his country in the final tournament. We now move on to uh, the midfielders. First of the SBO contingent, Pidi Soidi, uh, an actual left winger. He can also play on the right. He's uh, probably just going to be a backup uh, option for his country this summer, an attacking option. Yoni Kalko, though, he's a central midfielder. Um, uh, he can play as a defensive midfielder or an attacking midfielder. I think he's going to be the more attacking of Finland's uh, midfield three, and he will start at the Euros. Oni Valakari is a uh, more attack-minded backup option at, in uh, the central center of the park i think he will make the final 26 rasmus schuller uh, a more defensive minded midfielder i think he will make the starting 11 alongside uh glenn camera who isn't in the preliminary squad but i think will make the final squad thomas lamb uh, i think he's actually naturally a center back uh, he's listed as a midfielder because he mostly plays as a, a number six a dm for his country I think he'll be there as a backup, as I said, behind Schiller and Kamara. Tim Spav is an interesting case. He is Finland's captain, but uh, he's recently been released by Larissa after losing his spot in the team. So he's unattached. I think he'll make the uh, squad. He's been a servant for a long time. I'm not sure he's going to get too much uh, game time, though. He'll just be... Uh, but he will be on the plane. Frederick Jensen uh, is an attacking midfielder. Now, normally I'd expect him to be in the squad, but he has, uh, sorry, well, he's, he will be in the squad in the starting 11, but he's had a pretty injury hit season. And I think that might just keep him from it, the starting 11, but we'll see. Uh, Lassie Lapalainen, uh, he's got his first call up since 2019. I don't think he's making the final squad. Yasin Asenun, uh, this is his first call up in general. He's uh, both Lapalainen and Asenun are left wingers. I don't think either of them are making the squad. Somebody that definitely is, however, is Timu Puki, their star man. Uh, now, <laughs> he's a centre forward. He's got 26 goals for Norwich this season. It would be an understatement to say they rely on him. He got 10 of their 16 goals in qualifying. I know that uh, a star man playing second tier football, or well, he has been promoted this season, uh, is not their best look, but he is certainly uh, their main player. And finally, Ruperiski. Uh, he receives his first call up since 2016 after the withdrawal rules, the final 26. I don't think it's happening for him. So, I expect, as I said, Eriksson, Sauli Weissenen, Ivanov, Halmer, Lapalainen, Asanun and Risky to miss out. In, I think, will be Raitala, Lod, Toivio, Leo Weissenen, Taylor, Poyampalo, Force and Kamara into the final 26. And a lot of those players... Um, that have just taken some time out of the preliminary squad will be in the starting eleven as well. 
In the qualifiers, Finland have switched formation a fair bit with a 5-3-2, 4-2-3-1, uh, a 4-4-2 with two DMs and a 5-4-1 also being, all being used at least once. Uh, the 3-5-2 was also tried in the Nations League. However, in the March World Cup qualifiers, a 5-3-2 was used, so I'm making that formation the favourite. The friendlies will reveal more. Uh, however, now the best 11 is... Uh, Fredeci in goal, Alho on the right, the centre-back three will be Arayuri, Toivio and Reitela with Urano on the left. Kamara and Schuller will play behind Kalko in the midfield three and I have a strike partnership of Lod and Puki. Now this is uh, obviously one of the weaker teams uh, in the finals i don't think any one would be offended with me saying that but uh given the format of the competition and uh given the fact it is basically a few one-off games the euros who knows what can happen at the final tournament uh if they get i think to the round of 16 which isn't out of the question they'll be happy and yes it, as i said it is a weak team but uh so two grudge matches against Denmark and Russia. Who knows? Anything can happen in the Euros. I hope you learned something about the Finland squad. Uh, perhaps some uh, one of the teams with lesser known players for uh, English football fans and uh, football fans across Europe. But uh, I hopefully you learned something. The next team on the list uh, is Belgium. And uh, I hope to see you then for that one.